I've recently made the return to movie theaters, and if you're considering doing the same, here are some recommendations on what you should go see this weekend. Hey friends, it's Sammy back with another episode of The Daily Dash. That's right, it's everything you need to know from around the world and in my life, straight from my car dashboard to yours. Today is Tuesday, June 28th, 2022. Let me tell you what you need to know so you're in the know wherever you are and whatever you are doing. It's hot outside. Let's just put it plain and clear, um, on a incredibly, like, this isn't even sad. This is tragic, horrific, awful note. Um, 46 migrant workers were found dead in a truck in San Antonio. Like, I guess I just, at 16 more are recuperating. 46 human beings lost their life in the back of a truck. Like, I don't know how else to say that. I don't know how to move on. I will put it out there, um, to continue on, but that is tragic. Um, you can now book tours. It feels weird saying anything else after that, but I will. Uh, you can now book free tours once again to go tour the White House. Um, and Disney has released its trailer for Hocus Pocus 2, the sequel, after like 25 years. Crazy town. It's also National Alaska Day. I kind of wish I was in Alaska right now. If you missed any of that, you can find it below. You can find me at the Sammy Cohn on Twitter and Instagram, SammyCone.com and on YouTube. Okay. Uh, Tuesdays are a lot, you know, a lot of releases, usually music, that sort of thing, but there's a lot of movies I've been able to see recently. So I just wanted to give you some quick insights in case you were considering going to see a movie this holiday weekend. Um, so I just want to throw some things out. I've got more reviews on, um, my website on sammycone.com and I will link to it. I can't, depending on where you're watching this, I can't necessarily, link and like Instagram, for instance. But um, if you head to sammycone.com, you'll find my daily dash and then you can look there. Okay. So Elvis, I'm going to, I've got a bigger Elvis review. It was impressive. It was a beautiful epic. Don't know how else to say it. Is it family friendly? It depends on the age of your kids. I wouldn't necessarily say it's family friendly. I wouldn't say it's not family friendly. Considering Elvis's life, I thought it was much more um, appropriate, that's a word, than I would have expected. Uh, I think there's maybe like one F-bomb and it's not like this torrid affairs and, you know, like there's obviously allusion to some of that, but it was really, really well done. The music was phenomenal. The acting was impeccable. Very well done. Long movie, um, almost three hours, but really incredible. So, um, Again, you can see a full review later. Minions is coming out this week. I have not been able to see a preview. I will be seeing it on Friday. I am unusually excited to see uh, Minions and the Rise of Gru, starting when Gru is 11 and three quarter years old, I hear. Uh, so that's coming out. This is not in movie theaters, but we just watched Rise. It's on Disney Plus now, available to stream. It's a, it's the story of the Antetokounmpo family, which is not their actual last name. That's the Greek spelling and pronunciation of their Nigerian last name, which I'm I'm not going to remember, but I know that Ante Tecumpo is the Greek version. It's always hard for a sports movie to capture you when you kind of know the end of it, but this was so well done. Um, so that's very family friendly. Also, Marsh, oh my, I knew I was, Marcel the Shell with Shoes On is coming out um, as well. I Again, don't think I'm going to be able to see it when it first comes out in theaters. Jenny Slate is the voice I hear. It's really cute. Um, what else was I? Oh, my goodness. I'm losing all the things I was going to tell you about. Uh, Maverick, Top Gun story. is still, That was honestly really well. I, should, I don't know if it's really well done, but it was it's very entertaining, especially for those of us that saw the original Top Gun. Um, shoot, and there was another movie I wanted to tell. Oh, Thor, Thor, Thor is coming out. Um, I am seeing a preview of that tomorrow night, so I'll let you know. But there's, there's a lot of movies that I think are worth seeing in the theater. Like Maverick is definitely seen in the theater. Um, uh, Elvis, if you can see it in Screen X, like unlike anything I've ever seen, I imagine Thor will be another great one to see in the theater. So just keep in mind, if you feel safe, um, it's a great time to get back into the movie theater. So I'll just put those out there. Um, I do want to pray for a heart for missions for all of us. Last night as we were walking after the sun went down, because it's not blazing hot then, uh, we ran into our little neighborhood angel, Granny Joy, and she just made the sweetest comment. She said, you know, God didn't call us to spend a lot of money um, being missionaries, but she did call us to be a light wherever we are. And so that's my prayer for you today, that wherever you are, wherever you find yourself, that you can be a light, um, 
not only as an ambassador for Christ, but just as you um, interact with others, right? Be happy for the hope that we have. Okay, friends, I pray you have a great day. Make sure you make it great and do not wait to tell someone you love how you feel about them. Bye, friends.